Well, I think most people have got one of these type of programs. It's a, a label creator. I, I'm using um, Roxio um, label creator, and uh, I think these these are quite cheap little programs. And uh, what I was doing actually was trying to produce um, a, a cover for a, a disc that I'd made to make it look ro oh, sort of posh. And uh, I ended up making one of these with my face on, and uh, you can you can do all sorts with them and uh, things. And it puts a label on the side, and. Uh, and a little thing in the back for whatever you want and things and you can add to it and take away and you can do most things on it but I was really after um, a program that would design uh, dust covers for books however um, there is only one that I can find and it's called InDesign CS2 and it's rather expensive well it's CS5 or CS6 now but uh, it's rather expensive and uh, what I did, I came up with a, a little uh, idea that I thought, well, this is not big enough for, a, I mean, it's obviously not big enough to make a book. You couldn't make a, an A5 book out of this. Um, it hasn't got the scope. But what it does do, if anybody's interested, is I made a book, I mean, you've seen these before, I've, I've done lots of these. But uh, the thing is, I wanted to... The, real re the other reason, of course, is you can't write on books, so you've got to put something on to give it a, a mark its name. And I did this for the two little girls next door, who uh, the, I, think, I think they just started school, and I, I thought I'd make them a, a little notebook to go to school with. But um, what I did was, because I was messing about, I... Um, just fold it up a little bit. One of the girls is Lauren and the other one's called Clo Chloe. And uh, on this one you can see I've got Lauren's notebook. On this one I've got um, Chloe's notebook. And I produced this on that um, Roxio label creator. Which is not, it's not for books or anything, but it's, it's, it's just for covering um, CD discs, CDs or DVDs and things like that. that kind of thing to produce a DVD cover and uh, I went a little bit further with it and I cut it down and uh, that's what I put a thing on the front and a bit of a thing on the front Not, nothing nothing too technical but uh, I found that the paper because I've been using paper um, it wasn't really a good idea because um, it wouldn't last two minutes so what I did was I, I looked in the on YouTube and there's a few girls doing how to how to put fablon well it's, it's a swine to work with fablon but there was one girl in there who showed you how to lay fablon on without any bubbles it's critical <laughs> trying to get fablon on without any bubbles in it but anyway um, I tried a method and it, it really works uh, whether it's old fablon I've, I've just got I've, I've had this fablon for years I don't know what the Americans call it I call it fablon and we used to use it for covering maps and things in the army for when we went on exercise. And that, that's, you can tell how long I've had it. Because <laughs> I used it when I was in the army. Uh, for covering maps and things like that. But um, anyway, I tried it on this and it works. And the method that she showed us works quite well. And I will make a little video of it. But uh, I'm just showing you, I'm so chuffed with myself at the moment. And the other thing is I've got, I've done... A couple of other little ones just to show you that you can change the backs I'm just panning around rather fast here but I've got these little books up here which I've had for a, a quite a while but what I've done I've put backs on them and uh, that one I just tried I just started on that one and um, that's my little logo it's quite big on that book but I, I was actually trying I haven't I'm not too good on the personalizing things but these are these are ones I've just slipped into the cases. They're just they're just note, but they're all notebooks, and they're all B6s. These these are what they class as B6s. A5s, that's A5, and then these are B6s, B6 size, 
and I've just put on something different. The printer's running out of inks at the moment. I'm a bit short of inks and the red's a bit uh, thing. There should be browns on there, but the blue's working and the yellow's working, so... And the, li the, the lion or tiger was uh, black and blue anyway, so... And I put a little logo on the back. So you can see, and it just about fits inside a B6 um, thing. So I was quite pleased with these. And you can do as many as you like. I mean, you, once you've got the template set up, you can just run them off and then just um, thingy. But you can see on that one, I've changed the colour from what it was originally. And I've changed it to blue on that one. So, yeah, I was quite, uh, I was quite pleased with the outset of that. Um, it's not too grand, but uh, it looks rather better than it did before. I mean, it's better than just having a plain back. And I, I can't, I can't letter with gold lettering. I can't get away with gold lettering. And I was going to try embossing, but you can't put titles on with embossing. So this is the next best thing. So I don't know if anybody's got any use for this, but uh, it does put a back, it just put a thing on the spine and it is protected against uh, your fingers and you don't have to go to any special lengths because it is a bubble jet printer, I mean they stay wet forever so this covering on this Fablon covering on the back actually works so it's not for A5 books, it won't work on A5 books, it's too small but uh, if I find a method of doing it for A5 books um, I'll let you know and this is the main thing that I did I mean that's just a picture of me on the front and it's a it's just a video from my daughter of my book binding efforts <laughs> I just keep smashing away at her till she gets sick of it but uh, yeah so anyway I hope that's of use to somebody I I was quite pleased with myself when I did it I, I don't know whether anybody will like that or not or yes or no I don't know anyway um, I hope the Burns the kiddies will like the books notebooks and uh, I'll just pop it back in its cover and they protect the book so you've That's it finished, so there you go. I was quite pleased with that. Lauren and Chloe. So and that'll fit on a shelf anyway. So that's the first pair of books that I've done with a, a cover on and uh, so they look a finished object anyway so I'm quite pleased with that. Anyway I'll stop there and uh, I hope that's of some interest or some use to somebody.